Hi guys, it is Emma and I'm coming to you with an unboxing. I am unboxing 20 blind boxes of the Monster High minis. There's one series one right here, pink locker, and all the rest are series two. So out of series two, these are all the cuties you can get. I am really looking to get any type of Rochelle would see. And there's actually more on this side. So there's 70 plus to collect. I got two three packs. They were on clearance. Like those were on clearance for $1.50 each. And they're usually like 4 dollars at Walmart. And then these were $4.50 each. They're usually about 10 something at Walmart. We have Torlai, Venus, and Draculaura. And there's the back. Shows you a picture of them. And the exclusive one is this, like, sh I don't know if it glows in the dark or if it's just shiny. I think it glows in the dark. And plus, I think there's a list inside. Let's see. Glow in the dark. It's a series one. Oh, it's a season one, so it's not going to tell me on that box. I have about 10 more that are I already have in the house. It's just my mom has moved them, so I don't know where they're at. I gotta go really find them so they can be with their friends. This one has Cleo Rochelle, which is why I got this one. I got the other one because it's Horli. And I think this is either Spectra or Ari Huntington. Like I said, it does not give you names on the package itself. So um, if you see this shine, no, my face is not oily. I am testing out this Pop Lux highlighter. This one's supposed to go in the dark, so I'm trying to give it, I put it all over, go big, go home, um, very thickly, um, trying to expose it to the light, so I can do a check-in with the video, with, for that, and see if it glows on camera. So, I am going to go with the Series 1 first, because I, I, I think I can remember most of the ones that I've got, I had a list somewhere that I had checked off all the ones that I've gotten, but we will see. So this is what series one looks like these um i never saw these loose ones anywhere i saw the multi-packs so that's the only way i could get them um but yeah i never was able to try any of the loose ones so if you know of any place that sells them like if you know a seller online that has series one let me know if they're not too expensive if someone tried to get some more they have really cute ones in here so who we have in here. I don't know. And you can't shake them to feel because they all feel they all are the same weight. So, and I don't think they do have imprinted numbers down at the bottom. And sometimes with blind bags, if you see it down there, I'll try to get the reflection. There's an imprinted number. A lot of times with blind bags, you look that number up and it'll tell you which one's in it. I know I did that with. Um, and my little pony blind bags i was able to get find like fluttershy but now they have little holes like that you can look through and see in the my little pony ones so a lot of blind bags that are actually still in bags have a little hole you can kind of pop the toy up and see what color it is and you can probably figure it out from there so i'm not going to look Uh, looks like a genie fire, maybe? It's got green hair like Gina fire. And it's got glitter in her hair. It's really pretty. I think I cut her to where I can go through. There we go. Pretty close to the Gina fire with the skin tone and the hair color. Oh, there's a little tail. I think they're so cute. Alright, let's see which one it says it is. Okay, the thingies do not have doors, but it does look like the inner lock. So you can make a shelf out of them. See? So you can store them separately. I might be able to fit another one in there. I don't know. Or if you have some loose ones, put them on top. But there you go, that way you don't need a door. So that's kind of cool. Little design there. So you just slide that one into the notch like this on the next one. And there is a Skullet logo back there. You might be able to see, there you go. 
see the reflection. And then on the back it has the e-locker lock and then the Monster High Lego. And I think the same serial number that was on this package. MTN. Yep. Just take off the last three digits and the serial number is on this as well. So use all the digits except the last three digits on the bottom of these and then you'll find out who's inside. I don't know if those numbers correspond to what's on the checklist, but let me look. Let me look, let me look, let me look. All right, this was a sparkly. I really want the ragtime dolls. Pattern, oh, candy. Okay, this is, must be the candy rules. And she is not, com she's uncommon. Well, there's common, fantastic, or fantastic, find, frightfully uncommon, and special edition. And they tell you beside each one with a little purple, or pink, yellow, or blue skullet. So in this set, there isn't a rare, but this one and the Abbey one are the, I think I bet the Abbey one, are the hard to find ones, and the rest are common. I know, there's a frightfully uncommon one. Cleo's the hardest to find. Then Abby and Gina Fire, then Laguna and Draculaura. So there she is, cute little candy goals. Gina Fire, she's so freaking cute. All right, first one from series two that I've got. This one is, I'm not gonna look at the serial numbers just in case, but do have a dupe. I would think with 70 plus, they could put at least one different one or 20 different ones in each box. So, all right, we got a Twyla. And she's got glittery here, too. Let's see. Same design, just different color. Yep. So, here are our some of the ones you can get. We have Geek Shriek, Chalkboard Ghouls, Glow in the Dark, Original Ghouls, Power Ghouls, Candy Ghouls, which that's this one, but I got a candy one, which is Candy Twilight, and she's a common. Fruit Ghouls, Teddy Bear Ghouls, Sporty Monsters, Mermaid Ghouls, and Electrified Ghouls. So I don't think, this I think is the only current series out. So, or maybe it's on its way out. That's why it was on clearance. But. It's free Twyla from her. She's so pretty. I love her character design. She's the daughter of the Boogeyman. And she goes in the shadows. And she's even got like little smoke on her little legs that you can't see. But it's right there. A little swirls of smoke. And she's got a little cotton candy picture on her shirt. And glittery hair. So cute. So cute. Alright. Alright. Oh! It's a chalkboard ghoul club. If you need a checklist, let me know. I'll save them. But, and I can mail you one. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Claudine is my favorite. There's also a YouTuber called Claudine and I that I adore. Look at her little fangs and her purple streaks and her green eyes. She's so freaking precious. Oh my god. She is fantastic. Wait, hold on. That's not Claudine. She's a common. She's a common one. That's alright. I don't mind. I love my little Claudine. Any Claudine is good, Claudine. And have you seen the new webisode um, cart animation format? Like a weird mix of a video game. I don't I don't know how to describe it. I don't know if I like it or not. It's like the new animation for the movies, but it's like sketchy. Kind of like a video game cutscene or something. It's weird. This is a oh it's a teddy ghoul. And it is a Cleo, it looks like. Teddy ghoul Cleo. She's common. See. The rare ones Ari. And then Caddy. 
then Abby, and then the rest. I don't know why I did that, but. All right, there we go. We got Cleo. She's got a green and teal pajama bear set on. This is clear. It should be clear. Yeah. Because there's not a Frankie. I was thinking the earrings. That's what that must be. I thought they might have been the bolt for Frankie, but Frankie doesn't have yellow hair. Or yellow streaks in her hair. She got a little bit of stuffing coming out right there, which... Yeah, they all do, so... She's got a little green patch on her chest. That's the dark green. And a little bit of stuffing coming out of her knee. Little blue eyes. Little bear tail. There we go. This looks like a cute little... Oh, it's the Fruit Ghouls Frankie. Let's talk about the colors. I wonder if she is. She is common as well. I also love my little beast pin. He's so cute. I did this on my Books a Million mini haul. I love him to death. There she is. She's got some, looks like kiwi in her hair. I like what they did with Deuce. They made his hair like where the shave part is into a mohawk and the snakes popping up as like vines. And then she's got a little kiwi dress going down. Little gray skirt, little green shoesies or socks who knows deep I don't know what the number is she's got DXC95 on the bottom but it doesn't correlate the serial number on the thing but she does not have sparkly hair it's just white with the little kiwi on it and you can see her little scar there now the original Frankie had heterochromia so why she had two blue eyes I know hold on my bad. She's got one blue eye and one green eye. I had my finger in the shadow and it made it look blue. So she doesn't have a better girl coming in. Like, uh, what I liked about Monster High is you're celebrating your flaws. And of course Frankie being like stitched together with all these different body parts had a lot of flaws. So they took some like like Dracula and you're supposed to be creepy cute. And they like tamed them down because mommies were getting too scared. I'm a 30 year old mother and my son loves them. So I mean... She is metallic, or her hair is anyway. She is the Power Girls Claudine. She's got a little crescent moon on her little belt. The purple, like a magenta color mask and one bodysuit, whatever you want to call it. Little green gloves. Oh, you can move her head around a little bit. Black and green boots. Sorry about that. See the little moon? That's so cute. Then just her hair, a nice shiny. Her little booty. Nothing special there. And she does have her little fangs poking out. Oh, she's so cute. Freaking cute. Say hey, Jelly Belly. Say hey, Jelly Bean. She's one of those I want love on my own type of terms type of cat. She's not a very cuddly cat unless she wants to be. Or if she's sick, she'll be like really clingy. But. She's a good girl. She behaves. Yes, she does. This is a sporty ghoul Laguna. She's got a little soccer ball on her head. And her face is metallic. And does she have a medal? No, it's just a jersey. She has the number 13 on her jersey in light pink. And it's not showing up. It's really light like her little shoelaces there. And she's got like a err look on her mouth. So little sparkles in her eyes and little you can't the camera won't pick them up but they're little dark green teal freckles under there so that's pretty cute i like how all these have little details they're just freaking too cute so there she is she's got little freckles that you can't pick, won't pick up she's got freckles little pink shoes black pants half pink half blue top and it's solid pink in the back and her arms look like they have little like teddy bear stitching on them cute I don't know it'll show the texture of the arms nope. one of these days when I have one of those nice cameras you'll be able to 
zoom in and see that. And of course, she's got her big old ponytail, with a little swirl, and she's got the little orange streak going through. So that is Gigi. I want to say Gigi Grant. For some reason, that might not be accurate. Because she wasn't one of my top favorite characters when she came out. I thought she was very like Mary Sue. Plain, boring. I thought like it was a prototype when her final doll was released. Because it just wasn't that. Like 13 Wishes dolls were amazing. Especially the Abby one. Which is the Walmart exclusive. Which I have all of them. But hers was like blind. I know she's like a genie or whatever. But thanks a lot. Venus McFly Trap. This is the Fruit Ghouls one. She is a fantastic find. So she's the next step step up from Common. She has little cherries in her hair. She's got a little black t-shirt with cherries on them. And a little hot pink skirt and hot pink shoes. And if you look close enough in person, <laughs> I don't know if it'll show up, but there is a light, a dark, well, it's light, darker than her skin. But it's a little vine coming down from her leg. Maybe if I move my hand off the shadow, might. Oh, no. I'm trying to get it. Uh, there we go. You see that little line? It kind of looks like shadow, but that's not. It's an actual little vine coming down from her legs. That's a nice little detail. And there's some little marks by her eye, but I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's just marks from production or like a smear mark or something. But she's got her little, mm, little tongue sticking out. So, she's pulling little Miley Cyrus by keeping her clothes on. <laughs> Alright, this is like a Laguna. Alright, this is the dupe. My first dupe. Which is the little sporty ghouls Laguna. So, I'm going to keep her in the package and just keep her like that. So... Oh, this one is cute. What is it? Oh, it's Geek Chic Draculaura, who is a common. It's crazy from your little plastic prison there. She's freaking adorable. Look at her little glasses. Usually, I don't think, I don't like Dracula because she's like too cute, but this is freaking, oh my gosh, I can't believe this, how cute it is. She's got a little pink polka dotted overall dress, skirt going on, she's got blue tights on. Some little cute little black boots, glasses of course. Her little fangs are sticking out, I don't, you barely tell, it looks like a heart, her face is in the shape of, or her mouth is in the shape of a heart with those little fangs. Yeah, she's got a little heart on the corner of her glasses, and of course she's got a heart in the center of her bow. So that's very darn cute. Oh, I have a dupe. It's the same exact one I just opened. I got a dupe of. So okay, this is another bear one. Teddy bear rules. Let's see who we got here. <gasps> it's the caddy noir one. It's the caddy noir. Oh, she's cute. I'm sorry for black cats. But she's got silver and grayish black stuff in it, looks like. Ears and stuff. And her little pink hair is coming out of her pink eye. And they did give her like a pink little star under her eye. But you can't really see it. And then she's got a uh, little black icon right there. And it's supposed to mirror the broken glass because she always takes a broken shard of glass with her because if you break a glass, uh, mirror, you're unlucky. So, like her favorite number 13, you know, all of the superstitions, basically she laughs in the face of them. So, yeah. Oh, and at the end of the paws, you might, there's a little paw print. She's so cute. I mean, she's got silver earrings. Do they all have earrings? Yep. And they all have earrings. My fingers are going in the dark. One eye out, one little pink eye up here. My other one. Does she have one eye out in the same too? Yeah, and her eye is below up there. So if you're in a monster high, what's your, who's your favorite ghoul? Of course, obviously mine's Claudine. 
And then I like all the cat ghouls and Rochelle and Abby and Batsy Clara. Claro. So. I like the one Kirsten something else. Like, she's got my name. My name's Swedish for princess. But she's a gamer. And which, that's pretty cool because I'm. I wouldn't call them by myself as a gamer gamer, but I do play WoW quite often, so oh this might be an Abby. Oh no, it's a Frankie and it's a mermaid. It's a Frankie mermaid. She's calming. That's alright. So like here I thought it was Abby. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna get the happy mermaid. At least I got one of the mermaids I'm happy. I'm, I'm really happy. Alright, here she is with all of her mermaid glory. She's got her stitches, her two different color eyes. Her little silver fin fades to a blue. And then she's got a little like top, like a bathing suit top that has two little electric bolts on it. And of course her little black streaks and her white, otherwise white hair. So precious baby. That's a cat um. Train the Mew, a sporty one. I, was, I love her coloring. I loved it when they had that circus doll. I think I have her. Claudine did um, had light, pur light purple hair and the gray skin, kind of like to train the Mew. Look at this baby! Oh my gosh, she's, she's got a volleyball on her head. She's got a little. I don't know what the little logo is on her shoes and so on her socks and her little sneakers. And she's got the number 13 as well on her. So she's got a little mouth open, smiling. She's so cute. And she knows it her purple hair all the way around. Her little booty. Booty booty. Flash. He knows his name. This is the chalkboard gold, I guess, Ari or Spectra. It looks like Spe um, Ari. I don't see Spectra actually on here at all. It's all Ari. She's the new ghost girl. Okay. And she is common. I was thinking because she has a purple string in her hair like Claudine, but it's darker and she has purple eyes. I was like, hold on, hold on, it's not the same, it's not the same. Oh, her little body moves. She's got, yeah, this is Ari because she's got some little singing notes on her dress, on top of her dress. And she moves. I don't know if all of their bodies swivel. They do. I didn't know that. So you can pose them a little bit if you want them to sit straight forward. Because their hair, that's why their hair always has this big thing so that'll balance their big old heads you can just pose them any which way just got purple eyes and purple streak in her hair chalkboard streak otherwise she is solid black and she has a purple two purple music notes on her shirt and it's like a ringer shirt there's two little rings on the end of the sleeves that are also purple so let's see there you go Ari Huntington this is a geek chic Rochelle. Oh my gosh. Geek chic Rochelle. Yeah, it's Rochelle. And she is fantastic. So far, I've not got any rares. Maybe I'll get one. Who knows? Oh gosh. Alright. Oh, they really did some detailing with her. Okay, she's got her blue teal streaks in her hair. Her skin is gray. It's not speckled like the doll is, but it is gray. She's got gray glasses. And it won't focus, but these little look like dots on film or on camera. They're actually little floor de lis. However you say that, floor de lises. I don't know. They're on the tips of her glasses as well because she's a French gargoyle. So look at her. She's got little black, little black shoesies. She's got a white shirt with black suspenders on. Very geek chic. Very cute. Oh, she's adorable. 
when I saw her doll, I was like, because of the skin tone with the spe because her doll has gray, it's gray with black, like darker gray specks in it. And I was like, that is just so, and it kind of feels like stone, kind of feels like that Rust-Oleum spray paint. It's like, that's some attention to detail there. It's like cedar wood and ever after high. If you look at her, the, well, the early doll, the original dolls, I know they're rebranding and making them all like economy, like dolls and they're losing all of their detail, but cedar wood, her skin was wood grain and you could, it was in her skin and you could feel it. And it is a mermaid, but who is it? Oh, it's Monica. I didn't know she had one in here. I didn't see those three mermaid ghouls. She is a fantastic find. Monica Decay. So I've got two of the mermaids. I don't know the mermaids. Shoot. Maybe the next set they'll have fairies. Oh, look at her fan. Okay, she's got this cute, she's got a green and purple-ish, pinkish hair. Her gray skin tone, her light green eyes. Now, if you look closely in her eyes, you can't tell here. They have a radioactive symbol in them. Also, Jalupi shares that um, little tidbit as well, that she also has radioactive in her eye shine, a little it's painted on. She has a radioactive symbol on her little top, and her fin goes from a hot pink magenta to a darker teal. Oh, she's adorable. And I really like that they, I think they made her like a, like a Hispanic sounding character. Because there's not like a lot of, like the voice actors bring a lot to a character and basically Monster High sounds like a bunch of white girls except for Claudine who's obviously supposed to be the, like, like the black girl, sorry. Um, if that sounds harsh or like insensitive or something, I'm not trying to be, but Monica, she brought another ethnicity in, so that was pretty cool. Um, Rochelle, like I said, she's French, so, but she's not been shown in the new series, yet, like the new animations yet. A lot of them have, and the only, like, Abby, they replaced Abby with this big uh, yeti-looking creature. I don't know. They said they're not getting rid of any of the old characters, yet Claudine, her family, like, Claudia, Halloween, and Claude, where are they at? I mean, I love all of her little brothers because that's the only reason why I went to go see Hoshul Transylvania was because of all the werewolf puppies. I just, oh my gosh, spazzed out over those freaking puppies. I love them. And then Monster High did the same thing and one popped his leg. I was like, oh, precious, precious baby. So, and I am so shipping Dracula's dad and Claudine's mom. They just seem like they need to get together. They just, I think that's what they're going to end up doing later on because you can definitely see when some of the like looks they give each other. <gasps> it's the Abby mermaid. So there's the Abby. She's very pale compared to the other mermaids. Like they're like all metallic or vibrant. Like here's Frankie. That's why I thought I had gotten Abby. But Abby's little fangs are showing. She kind of has troll fangs like in World of Warcraft they come up instead of going down. She's got a little bathing suit, but hers is like a one strap, and it's got white triangles going down, kind of like ice. It's supposed to look ice. And then she's got a little light purple, cute little tail, just one color tail. And it looks like she has little purple bracelets on. And if you notice in her eye shine, she has sparkles like snowflakes. So her doll's like that too. And that's underneath her hair. Like her hair underneath this ombre, it's like a light pink, and then it comes to a purple that matches the fin. So that's kind of cool. But otherwise, it's white everywhere else. So maybe it'll show up. So, little Abby. Cleo, she has a little diamond in yellow under her eye. Because you know, she's got all the jewels. She's got an onk, I believe that's how you pronounce it, on her little chest. And it does look like it's wrapped, kind of like a mummy band bandage. If I could talk. I keep turning them this way, I don't know why. I'm sorry. And she's got little yellow bottoms, like pants. And then little teal boots with a diamond on top. 
and she's got her pretty blue eyes, which have diamond um, reflex in them as well with the teal mask. And of course her crown or her little tiara, I don't know what you would call that. It's not necessarily a crown. And all black hair. And she is not metallic in any way it doesn't look like. Her, yeah, her hair is metallic. It's just really hard to tell, even in, in regular light. Like, it's not really picking up on camera, but there are very, very tiny purple pieces of glitter I can see when I hit the light on it just right. So it is metallic hair, so. Hello, I'm a snob, but I'm a nice one. So I will see you in the next video. This is Vimma signing off, and stay safe wherever you are, and I hope you have a nice weekend. I'm filming on Saturday, so if you're out having a nice time at the club, getting turned, God. I sound so awkward when I say slang, but um, be safe, do not drink and drive, call an Uber or a taxi, we don't have Uber around here or taxis, but call a family friend, call a family member, call a friend, do not drive drunk, okay, please, <laughs> don't risk your life and lives of others. That's the end of the video. Let me know if you want more blind box unboxings or blind bag unboxings because there are a ton of different kinds. Um, if you want Lazy NPC to do some, he would probably love to. Let him know. Just comment below. Bye, guys.